What's up, Blockheads? With the upcoming Trail Challenge series about to kick off, I need a better camera drone. I've been using a gyro version of Lady Hover Pants from the Strained series, and it was pretty good, but I need to see the action closer and get farther away. I added a second high zoom camera to Lady Hover Pants, but with the long zoom, the tiniest bit of shake is magnified by like a bajillion. I need more stability. Let's get started. I pick a seat and slap gyros and stabilizers on it. Control system's done. Now I need it to move. I add gimbals for basic lift and forward and reverse thrusters. These servos will hold my thrusters at an angle when I activate them. A short test flight, it's a functional flyer. <laughs> Blueprint 420, nice. Next, I double down on my forward and reverse engine thrusters. Camera blocks are of course a must. I need two forward and two underneath. Now I need to figure out how I'm going to angle these thrusters. I'll need a hinge on the servos to get the configuration I'm imagining. I set up my AND gate switch for my reverse thrust. I have it activate when both yaw inputs are pressed, because control. Don't worry, I'll show you how to set that up in a minute, along with all the rest of the logic that makes this build work. And reverse is functional, nailed it. Another test flight, it's not half bad but we still have a lot of work to do. Okay, the way this is meant to work is that the gimbal thrusters make me light as a feather, but I will slowly drift down. The thrusters on the servos are what I use to stay up. I need a system to manage that for me while I'm in the camera following the action. Okay, auto hover is functional. Oh, man, that is buttery. I need to spend a minute optimizing the aerodynamics. I have to keep the block count under 100 so I don't have a lot of room to add aero blocks, but I will optimize where I can. It takes some finagling, but I managed to get it looking a bit more presentable. I'm adding flashing lights for increased omnidirectional visibility. and I need to get my camera set up to see if I actually have more stable footage. Okay, that jet wash is definitely gonna be a problem. I'm gonna need to move the gimbal thrusters, but there is a giant improvement in the camera stability. Wow, that is so much better now. Mm, 
Moving the gimbals farther away from the camera blocks should get some of that jet wash out of my shots. And this is feeling finished. I'm gonna paint this sucker up and run it through some paces, guys. Okay, I promised you guys a logic explanation. I made this diagram to help me nerd explain it to you. I'm using an AND gate, speed sensor, and an OR gate. The OR gate and speed sensor send their signals to the AND gate. The speed sensor says, hey bro, we sinking. And the AND gate says, nah bro, not on my watch, and activates all the thrusters. And the drone stays in the air. The logic for my reverse thrust works like this. The AND gate is on the left bumper, the OR gate is on the right bumper. They both send a signal, but it only arrives when both inputs are active. Now my yaw buttons have two jobs. And here is the finished drone. I made two models, one for high visibility and one for low visibility. I decided to add a big searchlight on the bottom so I can see what's up in the dark. On the low vis model, I added a decal over the light so it can shine without broadcasting my position. It has the handling to get me into all the nooks and crannies on the maps. It's a little slow, but I can switch to something faster when I need to get around the map. So that's my camera drone, guys. If you liked it, click that subscribe button. I'll upload this to the workshop so you nuts can bolt some guns onto it and create some mayhem. I hope you had fun, blockheads. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.